In this demonstration, we'll show how to track campaign effectiveness. You know, another way to look at the flow of this demonstration is somewhat hierarchical. We'll begin by looking at a dashboard, then we'll look at customer journeys, and then we'll look at insights on a particular email. So again, let's begin with the dashboard view and how effective the campaigns are being managed overall. We'll drill into the details by reviewing the impact of a single campaign. And then within that campaign, drill into the details of the email. So to begin, we'll look at the dashboard view. So to view the effectiveness across the entire marketing efforts, this dashboard, Customer Journey, shows a collection of all the campaigns which are live and or which planned. I can drill into the details. And you notice that puts in a filter for me, and then I see the details. I can clear all those to return to the main menu. And I can also drill down into the list of other dashboards. So for example, I'll open up my email marketing dashboard. And I can select any number of these. Again, I want to see the lead generation. And I could drill even further into that individual lead. So here I can see this came from a, a download from a white paper out on our, our marketing website. The marketer can follow the business process flow here, along with understanding insights about the lead and where it originated. I'll then drill into the details of a campaign. To do this navigation, we'll open up a customer journey. In this case here, one of our monthly newsletters. For live journeys, uh, the designer tab is in uh, read only version of our, our journey pipeline. And it looks the same here as when you're designing the journey, but now it represents results uh, and doesn't include necessarily a toolbox or the editing controls. So you can see here when I select on that tile, for information about what has happened on a tile, I can select it. Uh, you see from the pipeline view, I can look at the data panel on the right side. And again, this just depends on what information I'm pulling or looking at. As I scroll, you'll see the details on the panel include uh, volume, you know, the KPIs are the soft bounces, hard bounces, and I could drill further into the details with the link here for view details. I see all of the ones that have been delivered by this particular journey, how many opens and what are the unique clicks, my open rate, click through rate. And then I can also look at the open time. So the open times graph is defined on the X axis, which indicates the hours of the day. And then the Y axis are the, the days of the week. And there are these color coded squares at each day and time intersection, which indicate how often the contact opened a message at that day and, and time. The darker the square, the more often the contact opened a message. Then we'll review the effectiveness of an email. So to navigate to your emails, you'll open up an email and you'll see the monthly newsletter. <clears throat> I'll open up the Insights tab, and it looks very similar to what we just saw. Again, I can look at the overview, where I see a complete history of, of how various contacts have reacted to the selected message. I can highlight the links to see, you know, this provides analysis on each link included in the message, as well as a graphical reproduction of the message that shows a heat map highlighting the links. Uh, so you see the heat map on the left that has red is tends to be a little bit more clicked or the most clicked, whereas blue is going to be um, the least clicked. And then I have the interactions, which gives me a full list of recipients that were counted for each of the key performance indicators such as open, clicks, and forwards, plus a timeline on those interactions. And I could also open up the open times as well. So the reason this demonstration was so important was to show you how 
By using Dynamics 365 marketing, we could help organizations make better decisions and increase their visibility into campaign effectiveness and spend less time searching and more time dedicated to analysis on the tools and the resources that they're using today.